I'm the volunteer program manager here at Chabot, which basically means I work with all the adult and teen volunteers and teach them how best to teach science to our visitors. I got involved in science as a volunteer. I always had an interest in animals, so I started at the San Francisco Zoo in their teen volunteer program. Um, when I went off to college, I majored in biology and minored in education because I, I knew I enjoyed teaching. And when I did a, one of my classes involved coursework in, in a classroom. I worked with a high school history teacher and one day I helped her proctor an exam at which a student walked in, wrote her name at the top of the paper, put her head down on the desk and went to sleep. Wow. And that's when I realized I didn't want to work in formal education, didn't want to work in a school. And so I ended up, my whole career has been in informal science education at various zoos and animal organizations and now here at Chabot. My dad was in computers actually at the onset of the, com the computer industry. And so I grew up around science. I grew up around technology. I grew up with the latest and greatest excitement going on right, right under my nose. And so that definitely made it not so scary. I had the experiences at the San Francisco Zoo, which I'll be honest, started out a lot of it socially in that a lot of my friends were doing it and I made more friends in the program, so it was fun. And through doing it, I realized I loved it and wanted to, to pursue that as a career. And that's kind of the experience I want to give to my volunteers here. Provide them with a social experience and make it fun to learn about science and then pass that excitement about science on to our visitors. I think I just love seeing the reactions people get when they, when they get turned on to science. I love seeing a kid who hasn't been exposed to it all that much or has maybe had negative associations with science and show them the fun parts of science. You know, I worked with animals. Here I'm working with space. Giving people the fun part of science that's not in a classroom staring at a blackboard and really having them get excited about it, that, that's really fun for me. We're lucky we don't have to worry about the standardized tests. We don't have to worry about the science standards. We can pick and choose our subject matters. But I think within any subject matter, you can find the exciting parts. Make it relevant, make it important to your everyday lives, and you can find the fun in any, and I think in any aspect of science. A lot of finding the hands-on way of doing it instead of lecturing science, but rather demonstrating science and helping people discover science, I think makes it a lot more exciting. There are so many options out there. I guess that's my advice. There are so many options out there. Most people think if you want to work with animals, you have to be a veterinarian. If you want to work in space, you have to go work at NASA. If you want to work in education, you have to work in a school. No one talks about all the other opportunities that there are out there, and there are so many opportunities. So if you have a passion for science but are not so into the formal paths that you think are laid out for you, there are other options.